All credit to DEFA in the UK for actually getting behind and leading this initiative, and that's called product road mapping. Where for an individual product, you decide what's the biggest problem with that product. So with this laptop computer, it could be energy efficiency or recycling. What is the green version looking like? And what's the best intervention, be it public policy or retail choice editing, to actually drive that change? And that map isn't drawn out by a policy person working in a vacuum. It's worked out with the retailers and manufacturers and the, and the policy makers and the environmental pressure groups in the same room at the same time. The timber industry for wooden products and the fisheries industry for fish products have worked this way already. And what we're now saying is all industries should work this way in working out what their product story is. In the past, we've got very lazy in saying that government should show more leadership on these types of issues. What we're now saying is, no, government might convene a debate, but government and business and individual consumers need to work together and work out what they are best at achieving on this agenda. But can you actually shop yourself to a sustainable world? And one interesting area is China. You know, everybody looks at China as the biggest problem facing the environment. All those people, massive consumption, massive urbanisation. This is actually... This is actually a five-planet economy, but it's Houston in America. And China, with its massive urbanization initiative, is now thinking, we don't want all our cities to look like that. So they're now commissioning British architects to actually design more environmentally friendly cities. Um, and they think it's going to be a two-planet city. So five planets in Houston, down to two planets in China. The question is, of course, the reason why it's two planets and not one planet is they're only controlling the city. They're not controlling all the consumer goods and the stuff people buy in shops which will go in those buildings. And that just demonstrates that's the environmental impact of Houston and that's the environmental impact of the city they're building. A lot, lot lower. So my sort of challenge to the retail sector and the shopkeepers out there is what will your products look like? What will your shop look like in that city compared to Houston? And really, that's the final remark. Can we actually make products which can fit into the needs of a one-planet, low-carbon, poverty-free agenda? And we believe that we can, but the individual consumer will only make a small contribution. The real contribution actually will come from public policy and these big retailers. Thank you.